better prepare ya. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. It depends on whatever time you're watching our show. My name is Alan Moore. I am director of the Center for International Relations in the Russian State Social University. And I'm delighted to have some very, very interesting guests to speak about student experience and um, what advantages you have of coming to study at our university. I'm going to go straight away to, I'll call her Anya. Um, Anya, how are you? Just tell us a bit about yourself and where you're from. Hello, everybody. I'm uh, doing well. I'm from Vietnam. Yes, my name is Ai. I'm 22 years old and I'm studying at Russian State Social University. Yeah, nice to meet you. And what faculty are you in? Uh, I'm at the Faculty of Management. Excellent. Okay. And of course, we've got two more guests. We've got um, Derek and Ayuka. So introduce yourselves, guys. A lady first and then gentlemen. <laughs> Okay, my name is Ayoka. Uh, nice to meet you all. And, and where, where are you from and what faculty are you studying in? Okay, I'm from Mongolia. I am a student of Russian State Social University and uh, my faculty is a social worker course, fourth course. Oh, excellent. So it's and always... Yes, this, year, yes, this year I will finish my university. Great. <laughs> Okay, and Derek? My name is Derek Pantomoyam Paka. I'm third year Technosphere Safety in the Faculty of Ecology and Technosphere Safety. Um, I'm from Zambia, the real Africa. <laughs> <laughs> the real Africa. Okay, listen, we're going to start off then having a chat with Anya. Um, Anya, straight away with you. Um, how did you end up in Russia? Uh, I flew Russia because Russia and Vietnam have a, a strong relationship and uh, I want to go there because um, I also want to see the snow because in my country it's really hot and it's my first time to see the snow in another seat, uh, country, especially Russia. Yeah, And I also to uh, Russia because um, my grandparents also study in the Soviet Union there. That is a okay. So you chose because of snow and because of friends. Lovely. Yeah. And um, why RS is you? Why did you choose our university? I choose Russian State Social University because I want to work more with uh, people. I want to do. I want to work with social work and want to meet new people, new experience. Yeah, and meet new people from another country. That's why I choose there. And uh, in, in terms of the university, was it a surprise for you when you first came and your first winter? Uh, in in Moscow. Yeah, was it very very cold? Yeah, it's really really cold for me. Okay, uh, I know Derek uh, is going to start off with a question as well. So Derek, over to you. All right, Anya, the question for you is. Um, while you are in in this university, right? What did you wish uh, was being done? What did you wish was being done? I think I become a social person, and I'm more uh, and I'm more mature than I before, and uh, I'm and I can speak fluently Russian and English also, and um, I think. My dream is go to uh, have an internship in another country. Is also done. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. Ayuka. Okay. Uh, how did you end up in Germany? I I go to Germany uh, uh, when I know that in our university, uh, Russian State Social University have an internship there so um, I just want to try my best to pass the interview to pass the exam and do some volunteer work so I can have a good profile to apply for an internship so this, and this is the this is the shock reveal you are in Germany right now correct yeah okay where are you in Germany tell us 
Uh, I'm in the Bavaria uh, state. In Germany, they have a 14 state, but I'm in the um, but I'm in Bavaria, and um, it belongs to the Western in uh, Germany. And I'm really love this state. I really love this country and love the weather here. <laughs> okay. All right. Back to Derek. All right. Uh, the, the question, second question for me is, uh, what is it like when you first arrived in Germany? How was it? When I first I um, come to Germany, I was really shocked because I live in Moscow and the super and the shopping centers, the uh, uh, restaurant, the supermarkets they open almost all days. But in Germany, they close at eight p.m. Yeah, and I'm really shocked, and I don't know where can I buy my food there. How can uh, how can I miss people? And the street is not a not a crowd people. And uh, when the first time I I go I go there, uh, I have uh, our university in Germany. They have a birthday program, so um, the people they took us from the airport, also took us from the transport station to um, and they drive by car to take us to our hotel. Yeah, and it's really nice because we have we we have a, a birthday program who have you who have students uh, about them. Um, accommodation about the food and about the German's document which we need to uh, submit to the university for the first step and oh. I'm really appreciate them so so you had somebody there like to look after you from when you arrived in Germany until you got all your documents in at the university yeah yeah we need to register for the buddy program so the people who also study at the same our faculty they will they will take us from the airport. Yeah. Okay. Oh, good. Okay. Ayuka, back to you. Okay. Next question is: uh, What are the major difference between studying in Russia and uh, Germany? I think in Russian they just concentrate on the um, on the theory, and when I study here, I'm really shocked because they concentrate about the practical. For example, when I study in one lecture, I need to pass four tests. The first test I need to prepare before the lecture and the, the, uh, and the three, three tests. I need to pass when I'm having a lecture with my professor and they have a great student. Uh, they have a great of our score and um, um, and we will know what kind of level we are in. So <laughs> for me, when the first lecture, I'm at the lowest level because because I lack of um, general colonist uh, Russian system and Germany system. They are quite different. Yeah. Okay, Derek. Okay. Thank you. All right. Um, and in general, for you, what is life like in Germany? Like the the positives and the negatives. What is life like in Germany for you? Uh, like in the like in Germany, I think I think people are good and they are very friendly and they very always smile. Yeah, <laughs> what? Yeah, so they also help me because they know that now is a quarantine and I cannot go outside. I cannot meet people. So they they told me when the quarantine is all over, we can go to their place and have some barbecue and also we can go to school and um, meet our professor and meet students and uh, become a student in Germany is make me make me really mature more than usual because I need to start everything again. For example, I don't know how to take out the trash, but in Germany they have a, a for for tap a pin to take out the trash, which trash we need to put it there, and I also need to how to uh, how how to communicate with people because in Germany people are very very independent. So sometimes sometimes even we are neighborhood, but we seldom talk to each other. Yeah, we. We just know we just know each other when we have some something really uh, important need to need to speak. That's interesting. I, I just to, for for you, Derek, is that they actually sort their garbage. They put it into four different bins. Yeah, four different bins. Yeah. Because yeah, so Derek, Derek is studying, of course, ecology yeah, and yeah. 
yeah. protecting our resources. So that's 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 something now you can like tell. You know, I'm, I'm I'm actually planning to write about that for my for my diploma for my degree. Um, yeah. So, Perfect. So, there you go. And you, you have you have someone who can help you with that. Someone so like it as an experience. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Okay, Ayuka, last question for you. Okay, last question is: uh, Would you encourage students to take advantage of our study abroad programs? I think. Uh, I think not only international students. I think. All of us, all of students, need to have a chance to um, participate in some uh, exchange program because it's not only widen our knowledge but also uh, make us more become mature. Because we live in, we start everything again, and we need to we need to study, we need to communicate, we need to have uh, an internship in some company. So I think it could be great if every student can participate in exchange program, especially is uh, from uh, Erogesu. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Guys, have you any other questions you want to ask? Um, <laughs> do, you, do you watch German football? <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, 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 uh, German football, is, uh, because I live in Bava Bavaria, so they have a football like um, Bayern club, yeah. Uh, I have another I question. Yeah, buying club and the and the government of our state always uh, invest a lot of money for this football. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, like when, when somebody hears, like for me, when I hear about Germany, you know, the, the thing yeah. that comes to my mind is is beer and um, football. So what's yes, about football? Beer and football. German beer? Yeah, in Germany they also have a October Fest. It is the biggest beer festival, and uh, I think in this uh, in this year the October Fest will be cancelled because of the coronavirus. Ah, ah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's it's uh it's um organized every year at uh, October, so it's called October Fest. Ah. Okay. Okay. Nice. Is is that the reason why you want to extend? your stay in Germany and stay one more semester. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think so. I think so. I, I think I, I want to try some beer there. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> because it's a big festival. Yeah, so I just want to try. I try vodka and why not I can try beer. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this uh, Anya, uh, I don't have any more questions. I'm, I'm just very, very happy that you've uh, given us some time today. And yeah. um, look, it, keep enjoying Germany. It's a great country. Um, and again, it's great for our students because I know that Ayuka is planning to do her master's in university. Derek is, you know, has another year to go and then he will continue as a, a foreign international student in Europe. So you're, yeah. you're, you're inspiring us all. Thank you very, very much for your time. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Anya. I wish you the best. Yeah. Thank you, you very much. <laughs> yeah. Nidagaya maya daragaya, duti gavariat, duti gavariat, duti gavariat, duti gavariat. Nidagaya maya daragaya, duti gavariat, duti gavariat, duti gavariat. Skazi inshtu.